Great. Um, so tonight we um, are going to review the agenda that we've got up here on the screen. First, I'd like to turn it over to Cecilia, who will make an announcement about Spanish translation services. Goes toward improvement projects 
within the downtown area. Um, I should mention that the village of Havistrop was the other recipient of a DRI grant, and so there's some synergies across the river that they all can learn about in a little bit. Next slide, please. Thank you. Okay, so the DRI planning process takes place over a six-month period. Uh, we are at the end of that process. Um, and a very important step in that process is establishing a local planning committee. The LPC is made up of local and regional leaders, and they've already met six times since January. The role of the LPC is to guide the project team, review planning documents, and ultimately evaluate and recommend projects to the state for funding. Uh, the public is invited to view these meetings, most of which have taken place online. Uh, you can see a screenshot from one of our Zoom meetings with a, a word cloud activity. Um, so this is the list of local planning committee members for your reference. I know we've got a couple of folks here tonight. You heard from um, Trustee White. The LPC is chaired by the mayor of the village of Austin, Rico Levin, um, as well as Dr. Marsha Gordon, who chairs the regional economic development. Public engagement is crucial throughout the DRI planning process, um, and we've engaged in a number of ways over the last six months. A first community meeting was held in March, uh, that was held online, and it focused on shaping the vision and goals for downtown Austin. During March, there was an open call for projects that was issued, and project sponsors brought forward ideas for projects um, within the downtown area. We held a second community meeting in late April. It was in person in this room, and folks had the opportunity to give input on the, the proposed projects that were taking shape. And then throughout the month of May, we had an online survey where over 150 people gave feedback on those projects that helped shape and inform their development. Um, in addition to uh, the steps that I just discussed, um, our public engagement also included targeted outreach to over 25 local stakeholder groups. Um, the village posted about the work to their social media pages and also sent out notices to its email lists and posted to their website. We contacted local news outlets and also done in-person event promotion at the annual Earth Day Festival and the Village Fair. So hopefully uh, we've reached you in a number of ways before tonight's meeting. I should add that it's very important to us that outreach be conducted both English and Spanish. So all the materials that we've produced have been um, bilingual. And it's also important to us that we have online engagement options for folks who may not be able to come and join in person. Um, and so all the material that you've seen at meetings in person has also been available for feedback
um, for the village of Black House Lake's uh, DRI process. And any project that is recommended for DRI funding should support the DRI vision. Uh, so, the village of Austin envisions its downtown as a vibrant, diverse, and walkable district that connects the historic Main Street corridor to the beautiful Hudson River waterfront. Revitalization of downtown Austin will leverage its existing assets, abundant public amenities and access to transit, an innovative and entrepreneurial business community, and engaged residents who share a commitment to building a more just society, to strengthen the local economy and expand opportunities for residents and visitors alike to live, work, and play. By fostering economic development that is inclusive, sustainable, and resilient, the village will preserve its rich cultural and socioeconomic diversity while creating an even better tomorrow. So in addition to the DRI vision, projects should also align with the village of Boston East DRI goals. Um, again, the goals reflect input from the, uh, the village, the LPC, and the community. So in order to help accomplish the community's vision for downtown revitalization, goals should be detailed, attainable, and action-oriented. Uh, again, recognizing that it's a lot to read, uh, I'm gonna, we do think it's important just to you know, get everyone on the same page. So goal number one, transportation and mobility. Uh, the goal is to improve profitability and connectivity within downtown Austin, which has a steep hill, by implementing improvements that will enhance safety for pedestrians and bicyclists, promote transit ridership, and address concerns about parking and mobility. Goal two, economic development. Strengthen the local economy by leveraging downtown Austin's existing assets to attract visitors and foster economic development that is inclusive, sustainable, and resilient so that the area continues to reflect the village's cultural and socioeconomic diversity. Goal three, housing. Encourage the creation of mixed income housing in downtown Austin through public-private partnerships that result in rehabilitation of existing buildings construction of new, mixed-use, transit-oriented buildings and strategic areas. Goal four, open space, recreation, arts, and culture. Enhance the abundant public amenities within downtown Albany, including the waterfront, green spaces, and the community center. And encourage a vibrant sense of place through outdoor dining, public art, and ongoing cultural programming. That's a lot. And next, I'll pass it over to Chris. Uh, 
It reflects the same slides that you'll see moving forward. And following the presentation, you will use your five tickets to select five projects that you feel are the most important for downtown revitalization in the village of Austin. So if you look around the room, you'll see that there are project boards that identify the project and its name in both Spanish and English. After this presentation, there will be bags put in front of each of the, each of the projects, and we ask that you put one ticket per project. And that's important. We ask that you only use one ticket per project. We use all five of your tickets. So pretty straightforward. There are 15 projects for you to look at, and also at the last table behind us, there is also a map showing all of the projects and their locations. So you have a better understanding of where they fall within the village.
The village has issued an RFP to identify a developer, development partner for the site with the goal of reactivating it and returning it to the tax rolls. So the benefits of this project would be to get it ready for that development partner, um, and by extension, reactivate and preserve one of the village's most valued historic buildings, which is right at the gateway to downtown. The village is the sponsor. The total project cost is $1.56 million, and the DRI funding would cover that entire Okay, so the next two projects are connected to the village's efforts to redevelop the Market Square and Post Office parking lots along Main Street. You can sort of see we're like moving down Main Street toward the waterfront in the order of the projects. Um, so the village has issued an RFQ to identify a development partner for those sites. We would expect that they would be redeveloped with mixed-use buildings, with ground floor commercial or other active uses, and housing above. So this project to enhance and expand the public, excuse me, enhance and expand the Market Square Public Plaza would help facilitate redevelopment of those properties. Um, it would enhance and expand the existing public plaza with new seating and landscaping, and it would encourage pedestrian-friendly mixed-use development on the post office lots. Some benefits include activating additional space for use um, by residents in the heart of downtown Austin, and the opportunity to hold more and larger public events, including an expanded farmer's market, trying homes downtown. Um, the sponsors of Village of Austin, the estimated cost is about three and a half million dollars, of which two million dollars is requested from the DRI funds. All right, this is uh, my last project, and then I'll turn it over. Um, so again, this one is connected to the village's efforts to redevelop the Market Square and Post Office parking lots on Main Street. Um, this project proposes to build a multimodal transportation center on the branch lot, which is behind Main Street. Um, doing so would uh, allow for the replacement of the parking spaces on the post office lots and also facilitate additional development by accommodating off-site parking. Specifically, this structure as proposed could accommodate about 240 parking spaces as well as electrical vehicle charging stations and substantial bicycle infrastructure. Its connection near the Aqueduct Trail, um, I think, would be a great opportunity. Uh, it could generate renewable energy via a rooftop solar array and, again, encourage mixed-use development on the post office lots and elsewhere. Um, okay, I think with that, I'm going to turn it over to Larry for the next couple projects. So the next project that we have is to preserve and revitalize the historic Alma Opera House building. Um, so the proposal includes upgrading the existing 13,000 square foot building to accommodate flexible workspaces, studios, and the performance space. It would include space for four to six tenants and uh, space for exhibitions, performances, and events. Uh, benefits include rehabilitation of a central community landmark, Reactivation of an underutilized building located in the heart of the Main Street Corridor. Uh, the project would bolster economic activity in the downtown by increasing pedestrian foot traffic during the day and evening. And would strengthen the village of Austin as a destination for arts, culture, and recreation within the Hudson Valley region. The sponsor is Bandra Central Realty Corp. Ken Family. The total project cost is $3.1 million, and the DRI funding request is $1.5 million. Next, we have launching the Sing Sing Prison Museum Preview Center in downtown Mossadegh. The proposal is to create an 850 square foot space to tell the story of Sing Sing Prison, fabricate and install an interactive multilingual exhibition, and serve as the 
first phase in the creation of the larger Simpson Prison Museum. The benefits include uh, functioning as a destination for residents and visitors alike. It's anticipated to attract 10,000 visitors per year, adding roughly $1 million to the local economy. It's anticipated to be located within the Olive Opera House with street level access, allowing for easy accessibility to the space and contributing to the dynamic walk of town. The sponsor is Sing Sing Prison Museum. The total project cost is six hundred and ninety seven thousand and the GRI funding request is six hundred thousand. So the next project proposal is to establish a grant program for commercial building facade improvements. Uh, the grants would be for facade improvements including improving exterior walls, installing signs or awnings, modifying entrances, and replacing windows and doors. Benefits include improving property conditions such as preserving architectural and cultural heritage, potentially enhancing accessibility for people with disabilities, and potentially enhancing energy efficiency. Other benefits include increased property values and continued private investment within the DRR area, and would contribute to the creation of a branded local business retail destination with historic architecture. The sponsor for this is the Village of Austin, total project cost $660,000, and GRI funding request is $600,000. Alright, so next up is to enhance the streetscaping in the Station Plaza neighborhood to improve connectivity. And this project includes in introducing stamped asphalt on South Water Street in recognition of its historic character. Resurface asphalt, wide sidewalks, and create outdoor dining areas. Redesign meeting landscaping, plant new trees, repair retaining walls, and more. Benefits for this project include improvements that would complement those planned in connection to the redevelopment at the DBW site at Bar uh, 30 Water Street. Support local homeowners and businesses by enhancing physical conditions. Sidewalk walk, sidewalk walk widening will enhance the pedestrian experience and provide new opportunities for outdoor dining. And site-specific urban design interventions at key intersections will promote connectivity between Station Plaza and the Main Street corridor. The sponsor is the Village of Austin. The total project cost as well as the DRI funding request is $857,000. The next project is to enhance the Sing Sing Kill Greenway as a community and environmental asset. asset. To, and this project includes the installation of three rock ramp fish ladders within the Sing Sing Kill and develop and install site specific interactive signage along the existing Greenway Trail. The benefits for this project include enhancing the visual and aesthetic character of the Sing Sing Kill Greenway, which is a unique asset, as we all know. The project will create an outdoor classroom for residents and visitors alike, highlighting the importance of the local habitat and waterways. The project will enhance connectivity between the Main Street corridor and the waterfront, which would boost the economic development potential of the DRI area. And it would also bolster and support wildlife in the Sing Sing Hill and by extension the Hudson River. The sponsor for this project is the Village of Austin, and the total project cost was $400,000, $375,000. The next project is to create permanent public art installations along the waterfront. This project includes the installation of permanent structures, sculptures, and create a walkable, a walkable outdoor public art exhibit. Identify artworks via a local administrative selection process. And benefits of this project include that this project will contribute to the creation of a unique sense of place, and encourage walking along Main Street and the public waterfront. The project will attract residents and visitors alike, thereby bolstering local businesses throughout increased foot traffic. A permanent sculpture exhibition would also strengthen the village of Austin as a destination for arts, culture, and recreation. The sponsor for this project is the village of Austin, and the total project cost as well as the DRI funding request is $125,000. And I will now turn it over to Catherine to continue. Okay, 
So that's 10 projects down, five to go. <laughs> um, so this project uh, is to upgrade the Lewis Angle Waterfront Park performance space. Um, this project would install a state-of-the-art performance space for community events um, with a covered stage to ensure that events could occur during light rain and would also include bathrooms for the performers and attendees. The benefits of this project would be drawing from a larger talent pool for concerts and other types of performance art, um, allowing for more community gatherings and bringing people and business to the waterfront in downtown Austin. So this project is sponsored by Towns Austin. The total project cost is $750,000 which the DRI funding request is $600,000. And you can see a rendering of what that's proposed to look like. Okay, the next project is to expand Havishaw Ferry Service to weekends. So I mentioned earlier that the Village of Havishaw was also awarded a DRI grant. And this project is a joint proposal between the villages of Austin and Havishra. It would create a pilot program to expand the existing New York waterway service to weekends from the spring of 2024 through the fall of 2024. This would benefit both communities on either side of the Hudson River. It would create an additional tourist attraction uh, and the opportunity to visit local shops and restaurants as The next project, also down at the waterfront, is to extend the village pier to enhance Hudson River access. This project would extend the existing village pier with a 60-foot fixed pier and floating dock in order to accommodate larger ships. The benefits include creating new opportunities for waterfront and tourism, as well as educational and recreational programming. Local businesses could receive supplies from working ships. And the increased foot traffic created by extending the pier would bolster local businesses and strengthen the village as a destination for arts and culture. You can see the sponsor is the village of Austin. The total project cost is 1.5 million, and that is also the DRI funding request. Okay, last two projects. Uh, this project is to launch a free public Wi-Fi network in downtown Austin. Uh, it would launch a network that is accessible in outdoor public spaces and connect residents to local businesses using smart advertising platforms and digital sales. Benefits include creating a new high-speed internet resource for residents who have limited access to internet or rely on free Wi-Fi networks instead of mobile data. COVID-19 demonstrated the need for reliable high-speed internet for all age groups, including students learning remotely and adults working or job searching remotely. A free public Wi-Fi network would bolster economic activity by encouraging longer stays in downtown Austin, and it can also be leveraged to support a variety of public events. The sponsor is the Village of Austin. The total project cost is $150,000, and the DRI funding request is $100,000. Last but not least, uh, this project is to create a marketing and branding strategy for the funding signage. Uh, this proposes to evaluate market conditions to identify opportunities and challenges, create a marketing strategy that builds local capacity, and create wave funding signage and other media with unique branding. Benefits include increasing local business revenue and tax revenue because of increased patronage of local businesses and higher volumes of tourists visiting the village, increased interest from private developers in citing new, fiscally positive, commercial, residential, excuse, and cultural uses within the DRR area, and would help create a more active business community that exercises leadership and collective investment in the marketing of the village's downtown. The sponsor is the village of Austin, total 
total project cost $300,000, and the GRI funding request is $275,000. Okay, and I'll pass it to Catherine. Um, we're going to do a recap of the LPC bar that we see on the bottom right. Thank you so much. Um, Jean, would you mind coming back just one slide? Okay, so we now made it through all 15 uh, proposed DRI projects. As Christine mentioned earlier, the DRI funding requests currently total $15.7 million, and the state has asked that we identify between $13 and $14 million of projects for which they'll make the ultimate funding decisions. Our local planning committee has done an initial assessment of the projects based on their work and their um, reading of the feedback that's come in over time from the community. And so I just wanted to flag for folks that on your slides you can see the bar graph in the lower right. And the, the blue shows uh, stronger support and the red and orange shows less support from, from the LPC. So we wanted to, to make you aware of that and also to, you know, you could potentially bear that in mind as you're expressing uh, your preferences using your tickets uh, in just a couple of moments. Okay, so now that um, we've run through all the projects with you, we wanted to flag that these projects work together synergistically to establish a strategic approach for downtown revitalization. So for example, starting at the top of Main Street, by investing in the community center, we're hoping to draw people downtown and also create a hub for economic activities through STEM and job training programs. Um, you can see how, for example, the Multimodal Transportation Center supports redevelopment both at the parking lot, uh, post office parking lot sites, as well as potentially at 200 Main Street and at the Olive Opera House. Um, speaking to the Olive Opera House, the Sing Sing Prison Museum Preview Center is proposed to be located within the Olive Opera House, so you have some synergies there. And then moving down closer to the waterfront, the Sing Sing Hill enhancements, together with the streetscaping and the Station Plaza neighborhood, are really meant to sort of knit the Main Street corridor and the waterfront. Um, and then down at the waterfront, between the ferry service extension, the ferry pier extension, the upgraded performance space, you can imagine more folks spending time there, um, and hopefully we'll make up for them as well. So I think um, together these projects uh, really lay uh, the framework for, for a continued economic growth within the downtown. are most important to downtown revitalization. This input will be shared with the local planning committee, who will be meeting again later this week and early next to put together the final slate of projects that will go to the state for review. Um, so we're really excited for you to, to go and make your selections. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, project sponsors will be available at the tables to answer specific questions you may have. Um, and Christy and Yuri and I will also be available to answer questions about the overall process. Um, we're really delighted to have made it to this point in the process and are looking forward to your feedback. Um, I'll also add, for folks who uh, may have neighbors who couldn't make it tonight, for whatever reason, we're going to have this activity online. And so if you visit the Village of Austin website and click on the DRI web page, there'll be a link to take the survey online, and that will be open through the weekend. Um, I think we're hoping that folks will be able to speak directly with the project sponsors. Okay, and so we can let you go and do that. Thank you so much. Thank you again to everyone who has uh, helped to get us this far.